YouTube, what's up? So it's all about arrangement. You don't control anything. You don't create anything. It's all about channeling and arranging. And each layer of you has a different degree of will or a different uh, level of arrangement, what it can control as far as arrangement. And if you can align all your bodies, all your energy, then you're aligning with control. If everything is in alignment from the rooter to the tutor, then you have complete control on all levels and all layers of manifestation. So this is the 3D layer, right? It's third grade right here. So this layer, what you have your personal will, where you your tools that, that, that manifest in this layer, your physical body and everything that comes along with that, whether it's opinions, it's experiences, it's feelings, uh, it's, you know, it's insights, whatever comes through the physical body, you know, the physical body itself is the tool or the will. It is the willpower because it is energy. It's spirit. Again, like I said, it's solidified breath or solidified energy, clumped up energy, clumped up spirit. So that it is the willpower because energy is the power. The will is, is indefinable. It's nothing that can be measured or you can only measure the power. So you measure the body. You say, I'm this tall. I weigh this much. Um, you have your self-esteem, whatever it is. So that that you can arrange things in the 3D with this 3D body. So the 3D body can change the ingredients around. You know, you're getting these four ingredients or you could say five with the ether. So you're getting these four ingredients that you can arrange in different ways in different densities. So let's say for the conversation's sake, the source of light, or which is darkness, creates the single, it, it reduces itself, fragments itself to have separation and experience. Because if it's infinite, it can't experience beginning or ending. So it has to reduce itself to experience itself. So in that process, you have these illusions of separations, these various degrees of separation, these various degrees of consciousness, various degrees of arrangement. So it's different le divine levels of arrangement. That's how you can look at it more so, or disarrangement. Because you have total unity, then you remove something, you remove something from the arrangement, and then you get another echelon, a lower echelon. And that's what creation is. It's a reduction process. It, creation is reduction. So it's the same thing. That's the ladder back too. To get back to oneness, you reduce. Less is more. More is less. So you reduce these identities that you have, these false identities. You let those go, let those die, and then you gradually return to the one source. So reduction is production in either way. That's the paradox. It goes, the ladder goes up and down. So it's all about alignment, alignment with control. So you have all these different vessels of energy, these different layers to your body. And if they're in, align if they're in alignment with each other, then you, can, you have control over the arrangement. So you can arrange all you want here. You could take the, say you're in, in a hallway and you go into the door, the door is ahead of you. You can go left. You can take steps You can go down the left side of the hallway or the right side. That's your personal will. That's your arrangement of the events. But you're ultimately going from here through the door and continuing on the path. So that's that's what you're afforded as far as your willpower in this level. So if you are in touch, if you're in alignment with levels that are uh, less, greater, if you're in touch with that, then your arrangement, your control of arrangement there is greater because that. Everything is a reaction. I touch the screen. I know everything is a reaction to, you know, from that, from the top down, your dreams, you're creating in your dreams. Then you get the slow motion dream here and then you react to that. And that creates the, you know, different ripples from top to bottom. So you are arranging things. The source is arranging things. Obviously, obviously, there is a divine order to things with the phases of the moon, phases of the sun, everything, all the phases let us know internally and externally these phases let us know what's what and again that's the same thing with the zodiacal chart too if you know the body you can know astrology that's all you need to know is the body because it's just the measurement or the the process you're looking at the transits throughout of light and darkness throughout the body that's those are the body is the universe so all the houses and all that that's all within the, the system so if you know where the darkness or the light is welling up within you, then you can you you realize what is going on in the cosmos around you. That's the same thing. There's there's no separation in that. But that has everything to do with the alignment. If you're not in alignment, then you can't see. It's like trying to look around a corner if you're not in alignment. 
you're trying to look around the corner to see the greater the greater arrangement, but you can't because the alignment's not there. But if you align, then it's just look, looking down a hallway. And that's why people see their whole life at the end of their life because they've completed it and they can see it from beginning to end. They see the whole complete thing. The, all, the, all the true memories are now recalled because they've completed it. It's completion. It's about being complete. Once you once you see things, then you can look fully, see fully when you, when when things are complete. It's like trying to look at the corner of a painting and, and judge the whole Mona Lisa. It's not you need the whole thing to to see it. You know, you have to it's all about the alignment to where so you can see things from a proper perspective. But that has everything to do with your spine. And then so if you if anybody is on another level of consciousness here as far as the planes of existence, we have the different planes of existence with different bodies in them. We shouldn't say different because there's no separation, but the different layers, planes, is the pyramid of planes to this existence. This is just the third dimension or whatever you want to call it, the third grade. So you, you got your different levels, your different energy bodies. And if they're all in alignment, then that's infinity. That's a perfect loop. That's you are, you are total embodiment of the Tao at that point. If, if all the energy is in alignment. And you can express that in any yuga. It doesn't matter if it's a Kali yuga. It does not matter because just the yin and yang, like it's always going to be someone being the black dot or the white dot. Somebody's going to always represent the serenity of the Tao. And then somebody's always going to represent the opposition of that, which is total apathy and uh, separation. So those things will always be expressed. It's just like, where are you, what are you aligning with? If you're in alignment with the Tao, then you're always in alignment with serenity, no matter what season is occurring, whether it's a Kali Yuga or whatever, you, you, that does not matter. And those that don't know, it's 6,400 year seasons on the earth. That's what a Yuga is. Summer, supposedly, like they would say, this is the Kali Yuga where times are supposedly just ignorant and chaos. But it's always that. It's always the yin and the yang. It's always the giveth and the take it. So it's always going to be representations of all things that all things have to manifest. And you need this for that, so it's for continuity. You need the above for the below and the in for the out. So that's just for the experience. So you see this more the more you align. And the alignment has everything to do with the breath, of course, and reduction, constantly reducing the diet, reducing things. This is a lifestyle of reduction. I don't call myself a vegan or a breatharian. This is more so the reductionist lifestyle. Total reducing, remove you to produce you, step out of the way of creation. So that's really about it. It's just alignment. It's all about alignment with the different layers of you. Then you can control the ingredients as they come, the arrangement of the ingredients. So you have the, the 3D level, then you got to say your soul. And that has a different level of arranging your dreams to basically throw you an alley-oop, like an assist at this level. So then you, it's like, a, you know, you're basically throwing an assist for the next and then it all just circles and cycles because everything is, is you. There's no separation. So all the info is in the description. 2020 Tantra on Amazon. We'll be shooting this video on a Sunday, fun day, October 14th out here in Jersey. So if you're on the East Coast, let me know. I might be able to come pick you up if you're close enough. So um, yeah, info is in the description. 2020 Tantra on Amazon. I'll be back in California in November. My sister's coming to visit me. We're going to be doing some fasting out there in November. And um, yeah, I'll probably be in Vegas the first week in November. And uh I'll be in New England the last week of October. So, you know, like Boston, that whole area, probably maybe Montreal even. So I'll be up there. So, um, yeah, uh, let me know what you want to do if you're in those areas, if you want to link up. And uh, like I said, info's in the description. Hit me up on Instagram or any any form of social media. The uh, Again, 33 PDFs. I've got two audio books and... You know, you can come fast with me in person. Consultation is always there.